I'm my own master. Welcome. The tourney is on the way. Might I glance at your deck? Sure. Here. An impressive array. Count Monnier waits inside. You may enter. Thanks. There you are. A pleasure to see you again. The Skellige faction, how do you find it? Honestly, not one of my favorites. Hmm. Yet I believe you will easily win the tournament wielding it. Any specific tournament rules? Mind giving me an overview? Firstly, might I introduce the contestants? Superb Gwent players all, hailing from the world's farthest corners. Hamal Ochen Dankbali, an Ofieri merchant. Eric van Frog, a patrician from Novigrad. And lastly, we are proud to welcome a Skelliger. Ye blind? Not Skelliger, Skelligirl, damn it! Naturally, no offense meant. Agnetha Skolt, her effort charming isle temperament in evidence, along with assorted beats, baubles, ropes. As to the rules, they're simple. Each player adopts a faction they cannot change for the tourney's duration. Lose a match, and you're eliminated. The winner from among you shall advance to the semi-final to face the winner of the tourney's previous edition, His Excellency the Ambassador of the Empire of Nilfgaard, Master von Hinn. The winner of that match shall in turn face none other than me, your humble servant. Hands off our Gwent! No new fucking factions! Protesters have gathered outside. Quite a few, it seems. Hands off our bloody game! We didn't want any new factions! Money, you dozy cunt! Stop doubling with dwarven tradition! Change cannot always please everyone. Gwent traditionalists resent my efforts to expand the canon to include Skellige, but we shall pay them no mind. Ready to start if everybody else is. I invite you to join me on the terrace. The Herald shall soon announce the tourney's start. Let the tourney begin! In round one, Agnetha Skult faces Eric von Vrog, and Geralt of Rivia plays Hamal on Gangbali. Let's grab a table. A wager would you wish to make? What did you have in mind? Weapons do I collect, and your sword of silver my eye has caught. Should I win, I should take it. Should I lose, to you another equally precious shall I give. All right. So be it.
much. Thanks. And upon your victory, congratulate I you. What drove me to wager a sword against you know I not. Clearly to guide me, the universe ceased. Here, you may it serve well. I'd never have lost if you hadn't cheated. And my land folk who slander like that don't live long. Because we don't let them. Accuse me of cheating again, and I'll cut your tongue out. Enough. Hands to yourselves. As Gwent is a gentleman's sport, we expect all its players to demonstrate impeccable manners, and we cannot tolerate any disturbances. Thus, by decision of Count Monnier, the contestants from Novikrat and Skellige are hereby disqualified. Gentlemen's sport. Well, I'm a lady, and we ladies don't give a flying fart about a tourney where any measly prick can accuse us of cheating. With round one completed, the standings are as follows. Agneta Skolt and Eric Van Frog both disqualified. Geralt of Rivia has defeated Hamel Ongenvali of Ophir. In the semi-final, Geralt shall face the defending champion, Ambassador Von Hinn. I am honored.
Excellency. A pure pleasure to play you. The pleasure was mutual, I assure you. Congratulations, Witcher. Stop desecrating Gwent! Death to any and all new factions! Seems there's some trouble brewing. Scoot, Olius! Off your asses and hide to Skellige! Yeah, I love it, seal slappers. Please remain calm and stop the verbal attacks. Stop your mum from fucking ferrets, Monier! And hands off our Gwent! Maybe instead of hollering threats, you ought to just explain what it is you want. We've said it plenty of times, yet no one ever listens! Got me listening. Gwent's an ancient pastime. Its rules were set ages ago. Exactly. Determined in keeping with the laws of nature. There should be four factions. That is the optimal number. We'll not tolerate the introduction of any others. It would disgrace the tradition. Aye, leave our Gwent the fuck alone. Enough of this! Didn't come here to Java but to break fucking heads in defense of tradition! Come on, lads! shall summon the guard. I got this count. Sure, you can shut this tournament down, but there'll be another, with who knows what new rules. If you don't like them, don't enter. Play somewhere else however you want, but you'll never stop other folk from playing however they like. Bollocks! Like my good friend Zoltan Chive says, if one says you're talking bollocks, they could be right, they could be wrong. But if multiple say you're talking bollocks, well, you probably are. So let's take a vote. Who else here thinks I'm full of it? Zoltan Chive! Haven't seen that rascal in ages. How's he doing? Zoltan's just fine. Attention, everyone! Our outing's taken a new turn. We're to sit and drink vodka with Zoltan's pal! Gentlemen, wait. We've still the final round of the tourney to play. I know. Fuck that. Aye, Yaki Raffiberg. The hill by declare my participation in this tournament. And I demand to play the victor. We'll settle whether the Skellige factions were the flaming bag of shit once and for all. Agreed, but please show some patience. We must first play a pre Pre-final, Count Monnier, representing the Skelliger faction, shall face Geralt of Rivia, also playing with a Skelliger deck. My brother's dream has come true. Skelliger in the final, and played by both contestants. Good luck.
Congratulations! The best man has won. Playing the best faction to boot. Thanks. Good game. Skellige won! What a bundle of pish! Tournament's not done! Now, at my time. That is what we agreed. Let us resolve our differences here and now. Now to determine the ultimate victor! Geralt of Rivia, playing the Skellige faction, shall face Yaki Raffiberg, playing... Skyatel! Let the better man, or dwarf, win! You can shovel the Skellige mints up your asses! You won because you played better, not because the faction's weak. Hey, right. I knows what I saw. Come on, lads. Let's get soused. No, you must stay, for I wish to treat you all to a tipple. We must toast the premier of the new faction. And if anyone wishes to play a friendly match with Gwent, I see no reason why not. Thank you for everything, Witcher. 
Don't think that went exactly as you planned. What matters is we played great. I presented the Skellige faction. You proved yourself a true Gwent master. Here, the grand prize. You earned it. Thank you very much, Count. Thank you once more for deigning to take part in my little tournament. I hope we shall meet again. Who knows? Farewell. His wife's been frolicking about it. I must practice even more than I do already. Ah. By the prophet's wounds. A witcher. Should the beast you espy turn to left the guest? All is in order! Renovations coming along all right. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sepramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here. And we've course to open it today. And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossel was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Hmm, that'd be bad. This Sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks. I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. <laughs>